Welcome back to Far From Gnome, my expanded gnome-only Iron Man series where I attempt to drip myself up in a full set of Zenite jewellery, staying only within my new area restrictions. We last left off with an attempt at Slayer, but unfortunately finding ourselves up against the strongest monster by far in my regions with woefully inadequate gear. Okay, I'm just gonna wing an attempt at one kill and see what happens because I don't know where to kill them, I don't have a strategy, and I don't really have gear either, so let's just see how this shit goes. It's probably gonna be a disaster, but that's fine. Although possible to defeat demonic gorillas with a dragon skimmy and blue dehyde chaps, kills are slow and require me to bank after every successful attempt. No, 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 give me, give me my demon back, give me this one back, give me this one back, fuck's sake! Give me him back, give me him back, give me him back. You're shitting me, bro. I almost had him, and it fucked me. Come back, come back, come back. No, good one. Alright, so we got our first demonic gorilla kill, for no loot really, but you know, I'll take it and get the hell out of here. So we aren't totally locked out of killing these things, but they take an inventory of food each, and they are no fun. I needed better stats, more food, and better potions. So I set to work leveling up my Herblore to get the Super Attack Potion, among other various PVM supply chores. Thank you. 65 defense, boy, let's go! 67 defense. So before I do some more training, I want to get my Herblore up so I can get 45 and get Super Attack Potions. They've got an extremely easy secondary, the Eye of Newt. The Eye of Newt used to be near impossible for me to get in bulk because I had to get them as a 1 in 128 drop from the zombies under the under the Gnome Village Maze. But now, I can just go to Entrana and buy them in packs alongside Vials of Water. So what I'm going to do is burn through this pile of guam leaves that I have. I have 339 of them, you'll see it right here. I can burn through all of these, make these all into attack potions, and then that's gonna boost my herbal level way the hell up. If I still need help getting my herbal up, I can start farming unicorns for horns and make a bunch of anti-poisons. They're both one, useful, and two, easy. So that's great XP as well. And I should certainly be 45 herbal by then, which I can start using these Irrit Leafs right here and use the same Eye of Newt as before, which I can get in bulk, super easy, and then make it super attack potions, which are going to make one training and two killing demonic gorillas a lot easier. Alright, so let's take our first meander through the herbal shop on the account. This thing is just so huge. Water Wild Filled Pack, how much are these? Cheap as chips. Alright, let's buy all of them, and look at that. 800 vials of water. This would have taken me about 10 hours before, maybe maybe longer. And of course, how much is one of these? And that's 100, so that's... That should do every Guam that I've got, and most of the Eretz in the bank. I don't need to spend more right now, but you know. How big is this, man? Remember when I said, of course I'll be 45 herbal by the end of this? Yeah, there comes 41, just, with my freaking last potion left to go. I don't have much to do now, unless I start collecting unicorn horns. Oh, uh, can I be fucked punching 200 unicorns and then ferrying all the shit back to the Dome Stronghold? Yes. What an insane experience.
It was no use, I was out of herbs. I was going to have to go to Puro Puro and farm Eclectic Implings for their 1 in 10 shot at the snake grass so I could make prayer potions with the 70 Reynars in my bank, which should be enough to get me to 44 Herblore, and then I can boost with a Green Man's Ale up to 45 and make my super attack potions. We've got one more snake grass to go, come on, you can be it. You can be it. Yes, it was it. Wow. I actually only called that two times, you know, calling the toast infinite times. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of here, I think. I'm just going to pick up some useful shit before we get out of here. Let's go. So I had to get just about 700 eclectic implings to get enough snake grass for all the Reynards in my bank. You can see all the loot there, which isn't terrible, to be completely honest. That was really good for my gold bars and my oak planks stack and a bit of cash in these alkables as well. I'll, I'll, I'll alk them at some point. But anyway, 73 Renner, 73 Snapgrass. Let's see if I can bust out 44 Herblore and then boost to 45 for the super attacks. Those two dudes just teleported in sync. That was dope as hell. Hey, 43 Herblore coming in. I need literally three more fucking snape grass. And there's the herblore level I've been slaving all day for. I'm gonna boost up and make some super attacks now. And there's 45 Herblore itself right there, so I don't even have to boost to make these super attacks anymore. And just like that, we're done with Herblore. I'm gonna get two more pieces of gear, and then I'm gonna go back to the Demonic Gorillas. Let's get that gear now. So what I'm gonna do next is invoke the access to two of the NPCs that I've given myself now to make myself a blue dragon hide body or two because I can do that now. First I'm going to head to Stankers at the Coal Trucks and get myself a plus one crafting boost using the Poison Chalice and then I'm going to be going to Alcarid, actually I should probably go to Alcarid first, tan these blue dragon hides that I got from the Ogre Enclave and then I can craft them into blue dragon hide bodies. Let's get that done. Alright, so here is me using the, the high tanner for the first time. There we go, that's fucking sick, isn't it? Alright, let's go get the uh, poison chalice next. And here's our friend Stankers. So I'll just pick up a bunch of these things while I'm here. And there's that done. So let's go for that plus one crafting boost and hope we get it. Nope. 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 Oh. And I got hit for a 49! <laughs> oh. I'm risking it. I'm YOLOing it. Come on. 71 crafting. Go, go, go. Come on, we got him. Blue Dragon Hide Bodies. Let's go. So that's a sick upgrade for my ranged attack. And I got hit by a 49 by this bloody thing. I've never, I knew it could do that, but I've never seen that happen before. That's the funniest thing. Alright, let's pick up a few more before I leave and then I never have to come back here. 72 attack, boys. Yo, I finally got the rune full helm. Fucking hell. Look at that. Now I actually have a real ass outfit and I was also dry as shit. So this is my barely improved setup for killing demonic gorillas. I look like I'm about to go kill blue fucking dragons. Not the fucking strongest post-quest monster in the game, but anyway. Let's give it another try. I already killed one with worse gear than this, so it can't be it can't be impossible. And we got one. Nope. Got one. Yo, I got a room plate skirt. That's a legs upgrade. Sick, man. And there's the rune legs, the equivalent to the plate skirt.
The problem now was that I'd run completely out of food. I had the gnome restaurant food, which was fine, but I can't combo eat that with itself, so I needed curries, which are my best food that I can get in bulk, but they're not exactly fast to make. an over 50 minute long clip of just me bank standing and then I still haven't even cooked these things and I could burn half of them well at the very least these give fantastic cooking XP there's level 67 and we're probably gonna get a few more of these before we're done with only 500 of them so it's not bad hey there's 68 cooking every prayer level is important when we're killing these demonic gorillas so we are gonna go ham Fifty-seven prayer coming in. That extra prayer point may actually be the difference in needing a prayer potion dose or not at demonic gorillas, because I've been getting real close on a lot of these kills. After I was finally properly resupplied, I pressed back on at demonic gorillas to hunt the extremely rare and valuable drops that set the foundation for this entire series to begin with. The incomplete Zenite is a one in three hundred drop from this monster, and seeing as I'm going to need four of them, oh my fucking god, no way, nah. What? What? Um... Excuse me? I just got a 12 mil drop. Look at this. Look. I have killed nine demonic gorillas. <laughs> and I got my first Zenite. <laughs> what the hell? This is the spoon of the millennium. I I shouldn't have this. I'm not supposed to have this at all. That was the dumbest. Th this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. Okay. Yep. Let's 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 just go put this in the bank, safely, nicely, calmly, cleanly. I can't do anything with this yet. I have 70 crafting. I can't even cut the shit. I don't have an onyx. I don't have nothing. I wasn't supposed to get one of these on 9kc, but I did, so I'll, I'll take it, I guess. So yeah, my RNG is kind of fucked for the rest of this account. 74 attack and 94 combat. 75 attack, boys. Godsword level, let's get him. 64 fishing! Cool, 65 fishing coming in. Yo, I got the big base already. That's sick. I was only on half the drop rate as well. Oh, that's amazing. Let's go, I can stop fishing these now because it was kind of slow and painful, but no, that's just sick, I've never had this item before. So yeah, I'm very, very pleased with that. I decided what I wanted next was a ring of wealth to automatically pick up coin drops for me, and considering I was only two magic levels away from enchant dragonstone jewellery, I thought that I'd just grind it out and then use some dragonstones in my bank from dragon implings to make that thing right away. And there we go, that's level 68 magic rolling on in, which of course unlocks the Dragonstone Jewelry enchant, I believe it's called the level 5 enchant. So with that unlocked, what I can now do is let's go down to the bank and have a look real quick. What I can now do is of course go to my implings tab, take out one of these Dragonstones that I got from a Dragon Impling, take out one of the many gold bars that I got from an Eclectic Impling. I believe I have a ring mold. I do, which I of course managed to get from the crafting store. Let's get the runes we need for this enchant, Grigri, and let's get ourselves a Ring of Wealth. And we have ourselves a beautiful Ring of Wealth now, which what this does is 
not only collects all my coin drops as I kill Slayer monsters, so I don't have to pick up coins anymore, they automatically go in my inventory, but this also removes the nothing drop from the rare drop table. And since I'm going for a Dragon Medhelm and a Rune Kite Shield from the rare drop table, this is really going to help me going for those in the future. So that's a really nice thing to have in the ring slot. I'm at a bit of a loose end now because I've got my Ring of Wealth done and I've got my big base in the bank, so I think what I'm going to do in the meantime is just do the really slow route at the ZMI altar using the really long route that takes ages but there's no monsters there. It's gonna be slower but it's gonna save me from having to get food out of the bank and energy potions out of the bank because I can just AFK it while I'm busy doing stuff so yeah I think I'm just gonna start working on the grind. And there's 50 fucking runecrafting. We are now set at our highest XP rate we will be getting by the end of this grind. Most XP per essence, which is so dope. But there's only 4 levels left to go. 50k XP. Let's smash it out. One fucking level to go. And just like that, 54 runecrafting is finished. I can make lore runes now. Let's go do that. Turns out I can't make a tiara till I get a tool store 3 which is 44 construction. Got a ways to go, but that's completely fine. We don't have to worry about a tiara right now. So now I'm gonna do something that I don't think I've ever done before. And I can't tell you why I really wanted to do this on this account other than that, but we're gonna go into the lore altar, unlock the music track, and craft ourselves some lore runes. How cool is that? And that, ladies and gentlemen, means that I've unlocked Yanil because this was a self-imposed goal I put before I could get into that city. I've got a lot of new things I can do in Yanil, so I'm going to go explore them right the fuck now. So what I'm going to have to do is make my next goal 50 construction, so I can move my house to this portal, and then home teleport to here, and that can be my quick way of getting to Yanil. But I can walk here on foot in the meantime, and while I'm here, I want to check out a few of the really cool things that I can go and do now. We're going to visit the Magic Guild for the first time, or should I call it the Wizards Guild? We're going to come up here and spend quite a bit of our money on the last two bits of Mystic that I did not yet have. Look at them. Let's go get the rest of the outfits in the bank. All Mystic on Gnomely. How insane is this? This is really going to help with all the magic training that we do in the future. Not too shabby at all. One other amazing thing about getting the Wizards Guild is of course... It was at this moment that he knew. Oh, you're fucking kidding. Oh dear, I forgot about this. The bots have come here and done this, haven't they? I can't use the magic guild shop, unless I do the hand in the sand. That might be a quest we're gonna go have to do because this shop was a humongous part of the plans for this account to get my onyxes. This was how I was gonna kill Krakens. This was how I was gonna get my runes and get everything done. I was gonna get battle staffs here and train crafting with them as well. This is a serious problem. And I forgot my torso right as I get this guy. Oh, that's just... A one-two punch to the nuts. But anyway, since I can't talk to this guy right now, let's go out here, have a look at something else we can do. I can talk to my friend Leon over here, buy me a Hunter's Crossbow, very cheap. And this is not a bad ranged weapon for me to have now, because if I run out of rune arrows, what I can do is catch the kibbits north of Piscatorus and turn the long kibbit spikes into long kibbit bolts, which aren't a bad alternative. And I can also wear a shield with this so I can keep my rune square on for some defense against demonic gorillas, which I will, I'm sure, eventually end up using this thing against. We've got this handy sand pit here, which I'm sure is actually going to come in major use for my crafting grind, because I can just buy soda ash and come here and get sand in bulk with my home teleport that's coming up. We've got a dairy churn, which, you know, isn't too much use, but if I feel like making potatoes I can do that. One other major get are my first ever anvils on this account. I've never had one before, not in any area. But I can actually get some decent smithing now. All this XP came from smelting bars in the furnace at Apatol, so turning all my bars in the bank that I've kept for this occasion is gonna be very sweet. But yeah, about uh, about that rune shop, that really threw me for a loop there. I was, I'd f that, that was something that did not occur to me at all. 
Now back in the first season of Gnomely, I actually had to do an exception quest because I couldn't place box traps thanks to anti-bot measures that had come in. So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do the same thing for this account, you know. I need this I need this rune shop, it's so crucial to the supplies, and the hand in the sand quest isn't really gonna do too much to like throw my account off. All I'll have to do is visit some weird places and I'll be able to get pink dye and the rune shop. So I think that's gonna be my next up. So as I said earlier, the goal now is to get myself 50 construction so I can get my house moved to Yenil and just make life so much easier from there. What I'm gonna do is go back to Piro Piro because I can uh, mass hunt eclectic implings for their oak planks. I'm gonna need about a thousand more oak planks. I've already got 500 of them here. Where are they? There they go. I need about 1500 to get up to level 50. And what's also good about getting level 50 construction, aside from moving my house here, is I can make a portal chamber. And then I can put an Apatol portal in my portal chamber, which means Apatol teleport is only gonna take me one or two rune spots, as opposed to the four that it takes for, you know, casting the actual spell with a banana as well. I won't have to worry about those anymore. So. Eclectic Implings, 1,000 Oak Planks, it's going to take me about 2,000 Eclectic Impling Catches, I think, which is, you know, a good handful of hours, but the good news is, that's not the only good stuff it's going to get me, it's going to restock me on Snape Grass, which is great for prayer pots, it's going to get me gold bars and air runes and all kind of other kinds of useful stuff, so yeah, let's get working on that.